Bethlehem Church was founded in 1837. You are standing in front of the first of two sanctuaries built for the church. This first was erected at a cost of about $1,500. It took four years to build. The original front doors still stand, but they aren't used. To enter Bethlehem, you must go through their newer, more modern sanctuary. To the left of the old sanctuary, you will find the original sign for Bethlehem. It was located along Old Church Road, but now solemnly hangs before the new entrance. The second door on the left directs you into the old chapel, leaving you standing in the choir section. Directly ahead are the first level pews and balcony that were once used for slaves only. To the left is the altar. The woodwork was completely done by hand. The windows were painted white on the inside of the church at some point, but beneath you, you will notice beautiful stained glass. Bethlehem Church functioned for 100 years with the following model. One pastor shared three local congregations, Salem, otherwise known as Pole Green, Beulah, and Bethlehem. Bethlehem was a popular center for the community. Records dated to 1876 show 121 members in the congregation. Though Bethlehem wasn't greatly impacted by the Civil War, they did have an identity crisis. In May of 1972, Bethlehem became its own independent church. Soon after that decision, Bethlehem refurbished the old chapter, then years later broke ground on the second sanctuary. By June 3rd of 2012, the new sanctuary and steeple were ready for use. Over 300 members attended a groundbreaking ceremony. It was a special year as Bethlehem also celebrated its 175th anniversary.